Weapon balancing can be quite a difficult task for game developers, especially when they're creating an online multiplayer game, so an overpowered weapon is bound to slip through the cracks. And we're bound to abuse the ever-loving shit out of said overpowered weapon. Because who wants to put effort into becoming good at a game when you can just use something that makes you the lord of all destruction and make you lose all your friends? On that note, here are 10 ridiculously overpowered weapons in gaming. You might be thinking this is an odd choice for an overpowered weapon. Surely a close quarters punch can't be that powerful. Well, that would be true for any other punch, but the Warlock melee in Destiny doesn't really require the close quarters bits. In fact, picture this scenario. You're stood 25 yards away from your Warlock opponent, firing away expecting a kill. Then your adversary suddenly punches the air so hard that the particles itself accelerate towards you at such a pace that you die. Throw in the added bonus of a Stormcaller Warlock, whose punch not only accelerates the particles, but also mixes in lightning bolts with them so you end up looking like Emperor Palpatine on crack. Before you say it, no, we're not salty. And we're not triggered. Imagine, if you will, a sniper rifle that's more like a broadside cannon than a sniper in terms of power. Imagine being able to fire this sniper indiscriminately at someone without any semblance of aim or accuracy, knowing full well that your target is going to get blown into oblivion. Well, dream no longer, because the AWP makes that ridiculous proposition a reality. Seriously, this thing can't even be called a sniper rifle when its shots have the stopping power of Thor's hammer traveling at the speed of sound. That's not even counting the people that switch glitch their way to AWP based kill streaks. Those people are just the worst. It's not often that a hat can be considered a weapon, let alone an overpowered weapon. Yet, here we are. As you could probably expect, Oddjob's hat is only available to the player that selects Oddjob. This was already a cheap strategy back in 007 Goldeneye, and it's an even cheaper strategy in Nightfire. The hat acts as a sort of frisbee of doom that's an insta-kill to anyone lucky enough to be struck by this slightly weighted top hat. That sounded even sillier when said out loud. At least the golden gun was a gun, you know? It was overpowered, but at least it conformed to the standards of first-person shooters. This is just a hat. Imagine the embarrassment of being killed by a hat. <laughs> to quote Guy Ritchie Snatch, what's that? It's a shotgun! It's a bloody anti-aircraft cannon. They didn't say bloody, but you get the idea. Such is the overpowered nature of the sawed-off shotgun in Gears of War 3. The developers said that the sawed-off shotgun is useless out of melee range, but it's quite clear that they meant the melee range of a warlock on Destiny. Still not triggered, by the way. Because this shotgun absolutely lays waste to anyone unfortunate enough to look at you funny. Entire petitions have gone out to the developers begging for this gun to be nerfed. The best part is that this isn't even the most overpowered shotgun on this list. Ah, the blue turtle shell, more commonly known as the ender of all friendships. Dear childhood friends with whom we grew up, shared memories, and many fun times have now become bitter husks of the past because of this damn turtle shell. Why? It's simple. The blue shell is often awarded to players hanging around last place or near last place, and its sole purpose is to aggressively seek out the player in first place and stop them. That still may seem fairly standard considering the nature of the game, but when it was used by your friend in last place as a means to just make sure you lost, regardless of who won instead, that was when friendships ended. Wars have been declared over this particular turtle shell. Okay, probably not, but they easily could be.
onto yet another weapon with questionable range. By questionable range, we mean a shotgun with a range measured in miles instead of yards. These shotguns were basically sniper rifles that fired 8 shots at a time. Each. That sounds pretty balanced, right? Yes, Infinity Ward patched the guns and nerfed them all to hell, but the Model 1887s were the undisputed harbingers of doom and quite easily take the title of most overpowered weapon in Call of Duty history. Just look at that kill! That's just ridiculous for a shotgun that looks like it's more at home in an antique shop than a modern warfare shooter. Fun fact, 1887 is not the production year of the shotgun, but rather the average amount of kills a player was expected to get with them per game. Moving on from questionable range to just plain and simple bullshit, we have the Farsight. The Farsight is a gun only an insane and terrible gamer would concoct in their imagination in an effort to become good at a game. The Farsight is a sniper rifle in the same way a nuclear bomb is a hand grenade. Why? Because it not only sees through walls, but it also shoots through them, and it's an insta-kill, and the bullets track their targets. It's literally just an aimbot packaged into a gun. The Farsight is just so overpowered, it's difficult not to feel guilty using it. <laughs> who are we kidding? We abuse the hell out of this thing! You know, things are getting real when a literal nuke gets thrown into the mix. Unreal Tournament has always been touted as an excellent competitive shooter. So naturally, the developers had to make it a little bit more interesting by throwing a nuke launcher into the game. In fairness, it only fires one rocket and you have to find more ammo if you want to fire it again. Having said that, it's the firing bit that we're interested in. It's highly recommended that players make sure they're aiming at a faraway target because at close range, and by close range we mean within 14 miles, the shooter will be vaporized along with the rest of the map. Now that's what we call a monster kill. You have the ball. Remember earlier when we compared a nuke to a hand grenade? Well, that wasn't just a random line for the sake of a joke. Okay, maybe it was, but it also serves a purpose here, because the hand grenades in Halo 5 are basically nukes. They work as follows. Step 1, spawn in. Step 2, throw two grenades in the enemy's general direction. Step 3, profit. Step 4, repeat as needed until the game is won. Optional Step 5, uninstall the game, you filthy scrub. Sorry about that, and we're still not triggered. The best option to deal with the grenade spam tactic is to spam grenades back, because who needs guns? Or skill? Or accuracy? Just spam grenades until you feel hollow inside due to the fake success you're achieving. Final Fantasy VII is the only non-multiplayer entry on this list, but it still deserves to be in there. Why? Because the Knights of the Round Summon can basically be referred to as a kill everything button, dealing an overall 80,000 damage across multiple attacks, which is enough to kill all but two bosses in the entire game. In fact, the developers had to restrict the use of this summon to certain enemies in a way that the player would kill themselves with it if used on the wrong enemy. It's a good indicator of how overpowered something is when the developer is setting limitations for its use. And those are the 10 overpowered weapons we abused the shit out of, and we're not proud of ourselves either. Did we forget any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more entertainment here at Zoom in Games.